Hi everyone, Sandy Martins Toner with Jeunesse Jet Setters, and I am here to teach to do a tutorial, um, and it's kind of a two-pronged tutorial. Um, in this step-by-step -step tutorial, I'm going to um, show you how to sell a product, or let's just for these purposes, um, let's just say a box of instantly ageless um, to someone in a different country who cannot purchase product from your retail cart because they're not in the um, country drop-down box that we have up here so um, for most of these countries you could just send them to um, you know their country and then they can find the product in their retail carts but there are countries still um, like Dubai uh, that do not have a retail cart and um, may not have a retail cart because of government stipulations on the products that we carry and so unless Unless they're an actual um, Jeunesse distributor and have a back office, they cannot order it um, any other way. So um, the best thing to do is say someone approaches you from Dubai and says, you know, hey, I'd love to purchase a box of Instantly Ageless. Um, how can I do this? And so the best way that you can do this is to, um, sorry, let me just do this, uh, is to send them a PayPal money request or uh, send them um, an invoice to pay for the product in advance before you order it for them out of your back office. So you will need to have a PayPal account to do this. Now, my PayPal account is a business account and I'm not quite sure if you can invoice from a personal PayPal account, but let's just log in here and um, I'll show you how you would send somebody a, um, a PayPal invoice or request money and all you'll need to get from the client is their email address so once you have their email address you would log into PayPal once you're logged in there are two ways that this can be done I tend to like to use the um, request money tab rather than the invoice tab and the reason for this is that um, if you do a money request it doesn't seem to get held for the three to five days um, as it does when you're invoicing. When you invoice someone, um, there you go. So when you invoice someone, it seems to take a little bit longer for the funds to be transferred into your account. And when you create a PayPal account, you're going to connect this account to, say, your um, your your own personal bank account so that's where the funds will go so all you have to do is click request money you're gonna enter the clients email address here um, you're gonna enter the amount of money and you can change the currency I tend to use USD it seems to be a currency that is used all around the world so I would just um, enter here the amount um, that they owe me including the shipping make sure that you're including the shipping in this amount and then what I'm going to do is instead of saying that it's for goods I'm going to state that is it is for services then you would just click continue and once you click continue it's just going to ask you um, if you would like to send a message and then it will just ask you to go ahead and send the money request to the client now if you would rather send a an invoice it's very much the same you would just click on the invoicing um, uh, tab here I'm just gonna click on that and it's gonna open up a window here and again all you need is the clients email address you're gonna click create new invoice and of course <laughs> they want me to do this right now but I'm not wanting to do that you would just create an invoice it's going to ask you for the clients email address and any other information you'd like to put in there the shipping address um, so of course I've got my own little template here with the instantly ageless logo um, you're going to enter here to the bill to email address that you want to CC it to I sometimes enter my um, 
own email address so that I get a copy of the invoice, your invoice number, the invoice date. Um, some people, if it's a business, they'd like a purchase order number. Um, I leave it on due on receipt because I will never ever send a product out before the monies has um, gone through. Just enter quantity here. The only thing with this is you're going to have to enter exactly what product it is that they are uh, being invoiced for. So a lot more detail going into the invoicing and again the only difference is that when you create an invoice and send this to a client, when they do pay for the product, you're going to be waiting five to seven days for it to be processed. And this also depends on how long you've had a PayPal account for. I've had a PayPal account for quite some time now, so um, I've never had any monies um, defaulted or anything like that. So there's no reason for them to um, flag my account and hold the funds for longer. So that's how you would um, request money from a client. It would get emailed to them. They're given a bunch of options. They can use their uh, PayPal as a form if they have a PayPal account. They can use the PayPal account to pay you. They can enter a credit card. I think they can even use debit visa. So depending on what form of um, payment they use in their country, most countries have PayPal um, all across Europe. I know it's there So and into Dubai as well. So that's all you would need to do in your PayPal account so I'm just gonna log out of there then once you've received payment and you want to make sure that that payment has actually um, been accepted and sent into your bank account because you're going to have to use your own form of of payment uh, in the billing section when you're placing the order for your client so you want to make sure that you have been paid for this product and it's either been applied to your credit card or your bank account or in your PayPal account depending on how you'd like to pay for the product so now to place the order for that client who say um, lives in Dubai you're just going to log into your back office <coughs> and once you're logged in you're just going to click on shop so let me log into my back office here quickly and you're gonna go directly to shop click on that just gonna close that window to uh, when you get to this point this is where you're going to enter the country in which your client um, is is living so obviously we're talking about Dubai so I'm going to choose the United Arab Emirates and then click continue and what this is going to do and of course we have to ensure that instantly ageless is actually in their back office before we even do this so you always want to make sure that they have you know instantly ageless in the back offices in those countries um, of course it's lagging here but what will happen is your product windows uh, is going to open up you're just going to scroll down and find the instantly ageless and here we are it's right here you're going to enter how many they want I'm just going to say one scroll down and of course add to cart and you're going to make your way to the um, checkout so you're just going to come down here click on checkout it's going to take you to the shipping area now it's very very important that in this area you enter your clients information you remove your information that's usually just automatically there being that this is your back office you're going to enter I'm gonna say this is going to Susan Smith in Dubai and she lives at one two three uh, really wealthy Lane. Oops, I need to learn how to spell. Okay, and um, there we go. So the state or province, I don't know what the city's names are in Dubai, sorry. Um, but you would enter that there. Uh, the state, province, or region, of course, is Abu Dhabi. Um, there are a few others, so you'll want to make sure that you have the correct one. Um, and then their um, postal code or, or their zip code, whatever it is that they use there. Um, leave this as the United Arab, um, Arab Emirates. Enter their phone number and their email address. This will ensure that that they get 
um, a, an email confirmation stating that their product is on the way and that really does um, appease the client. Once you've done this you're going to go ahead and click submit I'm not sure if it will go forward because I'm missing so much stuff. So obviously it's telling me I need a valid city. Um, and then you're going to click submit again. Um, of course, it, it probably won't go forward for me. But when you get to the billing area, this is where you will enter all of your information. Um, of course, you're going to um, enter your method of payment, submit that. Once it asks you for the billing information, you're going to remove your client's information and this is where you're going to put your first and last name or whatever is shown on your credit card or your bank card or perhaps you're just going to use your PayPal account um, to do that. I'm not sure if PayPal is um, a form of payment for uh, for the United Emirate, um, Arab, Arab Emirates. Um, so whatever you can choose in the method of payment should be back there. Enter that and then just go ahead and submit and the product will get shipped right from our Dubai um, distribution, distribution center right to the client. So it should take, you can let them know, between 7 and 10 days to arrive to their door um, and you know, and they can contact you at any time if they have any, any issues. Um, aside from that, that's really all you need to do to place an order from your back office to a client in a different country that wishes to purchase Instantly Ageless when it's not in their retail cart. I hope that this um, tutorial has helped you and if you have any questions uh, feel free to send me a message. Um, have a great night everyone.